So what is up my guys and welcome back to the channel. Now in July, I made a video about how to style your Air Force Ones and a lot of you guys loved it and that was sick. So thank you so much for that. But I also got a shit ton of comments about the creases in my Air Forces. And because of it, I even got accused of having zero drip. But you guys know who have subscribed to the channel that that couldn't be further from the truth. I usually wear my Air Force Ones as my beta shoes just because they're really readily available and if something does happen to them, I could just go to my local sneaker shop and buy a new pair and it's gonna be like nothing happened. Now, I'm not gonna lie, because of that, they do have their fair share of creases. Just because I'm a bit lazy and I just do beat them around a lot. And it probably doesn't help that I have such a big size 12 flipper of a foot anyways, as it's just more area on the shoe to crease. But regardless, in today's video guys, I wanna show you how to bring your Air Forces back to life and back into shape by getting the creases out of your Air Force Ones. So without stalling any longer, let me show you guys my process of removing the creases and make sure you hang around to the end of the video as at the end, I'm gonna throw in some bonus tips that you probably haven't heard about before. So the step one, the very first thing you wanna do is set up your iron. You can just use any regular clothes iron, it'll do the job. Now I use an ironing board, um, but it can really be done on any flat surface that you wanna do it on. Just make sure your workspace isn't too cluttered as you'll definitely need room to move around um, and make sure you move anything that may be damaged by heat while out of the way. So you're gonna to wanna to plug your iron in and then turn it on as hot as it goes. Now I understand some iron settings might be a little confusing, and if your iron doesn't have like a temperature readout or temperature number on the dial, just turn it in the direction towards where it says cotton and linen, as that is the hot side. So that's step one complete, and we're just gonna sit the iron there and let it heat up whilst we move on to step two, which is going to be preparing the sneakers. So if you haven't yet put two and two together, we're gonna to be ironing the creases out of our sneakers. And obviously we can't just go and attack the toe box of the sneaker with the iron, as it'll just collapse underneath the weight of the iron, and we don't wanna completely pancake the toe box. So to properly iron your Air Force Ones back into their original shape, what we're gonna do is prepare the sneakers by filling the toe box, just so we can push out some of those bigger creases and also provide a nice solid area to iron our creases out on. Now to fill the toe box, we're gonna use some form of cloth. Now you can use things such as like an, a towel or you could use some socks or you can even use like an old shirt if you have one of those lying around. Now I've seen some people say that you can use paper to pack your toe box. But if you can avoid that, I would recommend it as you don't wanna see your Air Forces going up in smoke. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pack whatever you're using into the toe box the best that you can, and you'll start to see the sneaker rise back up into its original shape. Um, and you'll know that it's packed correctly if the toe box of the sneaker feels completely solid. So I've also seen some people recommend taking the laces out of your sneakers at this point, but personally, I keep my laces in my shoes just because I think it does a better job at holding the filler material in and keeping the sneakers shape when you're ironing. So now that you have both sneakers packed, we're gonna move on to step number three, which is actually ironing out those pesky creases. So for the process of ironing, we're gonna need two things. One is gonna be a towel, and the other one is gonna be a container of water. Preferably, make sure your towel is the same color as your Air Force One or the sneaker that you're ironing, just because there's the potential of the color from the towel to run onto the sneaker itself during the ironing process. Now, if you don't have a towel uh, that is the same color as your sneaker, you can just do a small test on the inner heel of your shoe just to make sure that it doesn't run um, and see if it's okay to use. So firstly, we're gonna wet the towel in the container of water. Now, it doesn't need to be saturated, it just needs to be damp, so make sure to wring it out if you have to. Uh, then place it over the area of the sneaker you're going to be ironing. So the wet towel will act as like a boundary layer and will protect the shoe from any potential burn marks that might affect the leather and the water on the towel will help transfer the heat from the iron onto your sneaker. And so now we have the towel set over the area the creases are, we can finally start ironing them out. And to do this, we're just gonna use the tip of the iron and run it over the area that the creases are, just back and forth for about five to 10 seconds, just making sure that the area doesn't get too hot over this process. Once the part of the towel that you're using becomes dry because of the iron, move the towel so a new damp part covers the area you're ironing and repeat the process. Now when I iron my Air Force Ones, I try and avoid getting too close to the soles of the sneakers just because they're made out of like a rubbery material and they don't have as good as heat resistance as the leather upper of the sneaker and we of course don't want them melting. Now depending on how bad these 
increase your sneakers are and may take multiple runs to get the creases out completely. And if you have particularly badly creased sneakers like I do, the crease marks may still slightly remain after ironing them a bunch of times, um, but that's all right because we can at least get the sneaker back to its originally intended shape. And I think that's good enough for me. And so really now guys, it is up to you as to how much effort you wanna put into ironing the creases out of your Air Force One. And so now that we're getting towards the end of the video, I wanna share with you guys my five extra bonus tips that I found have been helpful when it comes to removing the creases out of my Air Force Ones. And so my first tip is kind of like a little harder to implement, but it's regarding the type of iron you use. So if you have an iron with that like little steamer function, that can be a big bonus as it enables you to add moisture to the towel whilst you're ironing. And the steam can also help soften up the leather and make getting those creases out a little bit easier. And so my second and my third tip regard the packing of the sneaker before you iron it. So firstly, I'd recommend you guys fill the entire shoe with filler, not just the toe box. As sometimes I found when I'm just ironing on the toe box with just toe box filler in, sometimes the pressure of the iron will push the filling out um, and you'll end up flattening your toe box, which obviously you don't want. So by packing the entire sneaker, there is nowhere for the filler to go and it helps the sneaker keep its shape. And that's also one of the reasons why I keep my sneakers laced while I do this. So my second tip regarding the packing of the sneaker is if you have any old shoe boxes lying around that you've kept those little hard cardboard toe inserts that you get when you get a new pair of sneakers, these things can be really helpful at, you know, creating the right shape for the toe box and creating a nice flat surface of the toe box for you to iron on. And sometimes I've found when you pack the toe box using just cloth or towel, it can sometimes create a little bit of a bulge in the toe box and that's obviously something that you don't want. So what I do is I put the little toe insert in and then I just pack all my cloth material underneath it. As you can see, it does create quite a nice toe box shape. And so my fourth tip is regarding really tough sneakers which just seem impossible to get back into shape. So what I found out is that you can just leave the filler material in overnight or even just in for a couple of days and you can just let the sneaker come back to its original shape over time. Now I felt this really helped when I come back from my holiday and my sneakers were terribly creased and I just wanted to get them back into some reasonably wearable shape. So I just filled them up and left them for a couple of days and I come back and it did do quite a lot more than you might expect. And so this leads me to the final tip of how to remove the creases from your Air Force Ones. And it's going to be just not creasing them in the first place. And so to help with that, I bought these bad boys. Now these are called sneaker shields if you haven't seen them before. And they are meant to go inside your shoe and help reduce the amount of creasing that happens in the toe box of your Air Force Ones. Now there are some name brand versions of these. Uh, unfortunately though, none of them wanted to ship to Australia. So what I ended up doing was just getting these $6 pair of eBay and I'm glad I didn't pay $20 or $30 for them like the name brand ones. I actually ended up paying $6 and these are really just a piece of plastic and I don't see why they would ever be that expensive. So not gonna lie, these guys don't do a bad job at protecting the toe boxes sneaker, but unless you have like a really stiff foot and you don't move your foot anytime you take a step, these things are just gonna move the spot that the sneaker creases away from the toe box which is a nice thing as the toe box is probably the worst looking piece when you crease it. Um, so it's quite good to have these, but in the end of the day, you can't expect to have a solution to have absolutely zero creases, especially when you're wearing your sneakers. Now, I probably haven't been using these things for long enough to give a real comprehensive review, but I can say that I'm sure having these in your sneakers will help reduce the creases more so than not having anything at all. So that wraps up today's video, guys, and I hope it helps you get those Air Force Ones back to looking their absolute freshest. Now, if you have any other tips that I didn't mention in today's video, feel free to go and throw them in the comment section below, as I'm sure everyone else watching this video would love to benefit from them. Now, if you did like today's video, feel free to leave it a thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, as you don't want to miss out on any of my future content that I have coming out. Now, also, if you guys want to keep up to date with what I'm doing kind of in between these videos and see a little bit more of my personal life, feel free to go and chuck me a follow on Instagram and Twitter, which are both just at Joshua Danaher. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.